Binge the full week ad free over at patreon.com slash inspired disorder. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. Rona days. This is the 56th episode of the show where I just kind of recap my week as we are living in the Rona days. Uh, temperatures are warming up still. It's been in the hundreds, uh, which is interesting how all of my devices uh, are just performing horribly because they overheat so much because it's so hot. And I just, I don't know, I'm trying to save my friend money by not running the air conditioner as much as possible. Um, and it's, it hasn't been that bad despite it being up in the hundreds. Uh, I just have fans going and, uh, you know, try and stay in the dark in the, in the cave. Um, but it is what it is playing call of duty on my phone, uh, call of duty mobile. Uh, it was the first time I saw it. It would just like the screen brightness would go down. Things would get choppy. There would be like, kind of like it, it just, it gets annoying. It gets annoying. It's I'm curious to see, cause my laptop, when I produce this show or produce, uh, the many faces, uh, it definitely heats up a lot and starts moving incredibly slow. I wonder how much better performance I would have if I just had like some high powered cooler going on it um, the whole time. But uh, yeah, playing Call of Duty has been a fun part of the pandemic using my controller on my phone. It's just the how I like to play. I mean, there's a lot of options on the game. You could do a lot of things. Uh, but I love to play the uh, just the classic battle royale, right? Classic battle royale on the on the island. I guess not an island, but you know that that plot of land. I don't and that solo. I don't want a team, mainly because I can't tell who's on my team or not. I think it has to do. I think it's because I'm colorblind. I can't tell. Uh, they're probably you know identified in a certain way. Don't like, too confusing, don't like it. I like being on my own. Uh, so just the normal thing, my skill is the ninja, right? So I get the grappling hook, and then I can run around all quiet, I think are the two kind of main things. And I'm a sniper. So I love the sniper rifle, uh, and I know there's people that complain about sniper rifles, like people who sniper and how uh, it's not fair or whatever. I've been taken out by snipers. It's annoying. But I've also taken... There, there's been shots that I've had where it's like the character is maybe a couple pixels. They are so far away. They are so far away. I, I wish there was a stat in this game that would show me the distance that I'm shooting on these kills. But there was a guy so far away. And, I, and, and it's like it takes time for the bullet to get there. And I got him with one shot, and it was the most. It's like a feeling when you kill, when you get a kill from so far away. It's just amazing. I also love getting people while they're inside buildings. It's just really fun. Like if it were me inside a building, you like you think you're safe inside a building. Like if you're alone in the building, um, and then all of a sudden you die. <laughs> For me, sitting on top of a roof, you know, uh, miles away. Uh, I love it. I love it so much. I've been taken out by snipers too. I have respect for them. I see them. I see them there. Uh, but I love playing that sniper game. You know, I'll even, I mean, I carry a sniper and then my secondary weapon is usually, um, you know, something with heavy ammunition. You know, I want something where if I'm, if I'm going to run into you, uh, you know, whether uh, the, the, the kind of the heavy ammunition ones are kind of good cause you can still use them at a decent distance. Uh, they tend to kill pretty easy. Uh, you run slower with them, but I, I try to have a vehicle or, or find a snowboard or something like that. But I love playing Call of Duty Mobile. It, it, it's a lot of fun. And playing that map, I, I pretty much have like most of the map memorized. So it's like I know where to go. I know where the places are for you know helicopters and stuff like that. And you know, it's 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 so much fun. It's and the games are only like twenty to thirty minutes long, uh, unless you die right away. Like you know, if you get first place, it it takes about twenty thirty minutes to get through through a game uh, battle royale. Uh, but I love it. It's 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 really the only. I, I have no desire to play any other game. It's so much fun. Uh, anyway, 
I've also enjoyed watching movies that I'm not having to review, like just watching movies for fun, especially like older movies. I started listening to a couple new podcasts, uh, Screen Drafts and Roughed Drafts, Rough Drafts. Uh, both are movie related, draft related movies, uh, podcasts. Uh, Screen Drafts is a competitive collaboration where they, they try to make a uh, movie list of top seven movie list of whatever category. So like time loop movies, let's say they would do a draft of time loop movies. Two people would come in and uh, they're, you know, they, they kind of exchange picks through up the draft order and they can veto each other. And it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun uh, to kind of hear because there's a lot of drama in it. Um, but then I get to hear about movies that I didn't know about. And also, kind of watching a group of movies that are all related in some way. Uh, like, for instance, when I watched all of the time loop movies that I've watched recently. Super fun. Super fun to kind of narrow your focus and do like a, a movie marathon with movies that have a similar theme to them. Uh, similar to Screen Drafts is Rough Drafts, hosted by uh, a bunch of comedians. Jeff Tate, his brother, uh, Troy Tate, um uh Troy Gal wait is it Troy Galleon? I'm I think I'm saying his name wrong. Uh but three two two comics and then they have guests on other comics usually and they will do a similar thing. Uh they will draft movies in a similar category but they do more of a draft style that's uh comparable to all fantasy everything. Uh so they're not trying to build a a list together. They're building their own lists. Uh, but either way, both podcasts are a great way to discover new movies. Uh, so I've enjoyed watching movies for fun. It's it's nice putting on a movie um, and not having my notebook open to take notes of you know what I like or don't like or what I think about the movie and just like enjoy watching a movie. Uh, I've watched some classic films that I never you know just never got around to watching. So it's been fun. What hasn't been fun is uh, dealing with certain certain companies and how they utilize technology. Trying to order Domino's pizza the other day, and uh, well, I successfully did it. Um, but there's a thing that they do. I don't know how their technology works. I don't know if it's similar to like uh, like an Uber Eats or uh, you know um, any of those gig delivery things where they have an app. Domino's has a tracker, like so many of those delivery services where you can see the delivery driver coming which is a great tool to have in a time where you're supposed to have contactless delivery in a time where people are leaving food outside and you don't want that food to be waiting outside for a long time so it's nice to see that tracker and see when they pull up what the Domino's employees are doing it seems like are marking everything delivered I'm assuming they have multiple deliveries going. They just mark everything delivered, and then when they get to you, they get to you. So the other day, uh, my, my pizza marked delivered. It took 35 minutes to an hour, probably close to 45 minutes, before my pizza actually showed up. I was so pissed. Right, I did everything. Of course, you try and call the, the, the Domino's location. Just to see, it's like, hey, did this get delivered to the wrong place? Is he still out delivering pizzas? What's going on with my pizza that I ordered an hour ago? They don't answer their phone. It's not like a busy day. It was like a Tuesday. It wasn't a Wednesday. It wasn't like a weekend thing where it's like, oh, they're probably busy. They knew what was going on. They probably had a ton of customers calling complaining. Um, but yeah, so, but through their app, I was able to get a free pizza, uh, for next time, uh, which I'm, after I'm recording, I'm going to order a pizza because apparently their, their, their points that you get for ordering pizzas, they expire. And I've had a bunch expire over the years. Uh, so I'm planning on using that after I record. Not that pizza is a great dietary choice necessarily but 
Uh, I'm going to fucking get my free pizza from these assholes. Um, but yeah, like if I, if it wasn't contact delivery and they're just like coming to my door, which my door is not the main door. They don't know where my door is. Then that's fine. I'll just wait. I'm not going to be sitting by the phone looking at, at their tracker thing. But if you're going to have a tracker thing, at least use it correctly. Don't mark the delivery delivered until it's delivered. Because now, like I say it's delivered, I go outside. Did my food get delivered to the wrong place? Did it get delivered and somebody came by and snatched it? Like, I don't know. It says it's delivered, but it's nowhere to be found. And then I can't contact anybody to actually get any kind of ideas of what's going on. I just think it's ridiculous. I think it's ridiculous as hell. Um, so that pissed me off this week. Um, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do, man? Just going to hopefully just keep getting free pizzas. I'm just going to be on it every time. Every time they do it, I'm just going to complain and hopefully get a free pizza. Uh, but we'll see. Not. I'm just going to, I'm going to. I'm going to be able to to use their inability to run a business in order to give myself diabetes from just eating pizza all the time because they're too stupid to do their job. I keep getting them for free. Uh, but anyway, that's it for this episode of Rona Days. I hope everybody's having a great week, staying safe. Hope everybody's getting vaccinated. It seems like everything is opening up as far as availability for people to get it. Uh, I am hopefully... I'm going to be keeping an eye out this week. Um, hopefully I can get a, a sneak in to get a first shot somewhere. Uh, but yeah, definitely get your vaccinations, people. Don't be little whiny little. Don't be like Joe Rogan, who thinks that vitamins and moving around is what's going to keep you from getting sick. And it's not only to keep you from getting sick, but it's also to keep you from spreading it to other people who might be vulnerable. Uh but it is what it is. Stay safe. I love you all. Next week, I will talk to you then. Go get yourself some amazing coffee from our sponsor, Station House Coffee on Instagram, stationhousecoffee.com on the web. Uh, go order yourself some small batch, single origin, premium coffee straight from Vermont. Let's support some small businesses, shall we? Shall we do that in this time of economic crisis? We support our small businesses and get ourselves a nice bag of roasted premium coffee to grind and run water through it and drink it and get all the benefits that you get from drinking coffee, like waking up, staying up, staying alert, get your mind right, get your body right, get yourself some Station House coffee Follow them on Instagram, stationhousecoffee.com. New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on IGTV, YouTube, and everywhere else podcasts are found. Binge the full week ad-free over at patreon.com slash inspired disorder. Buy Ray Taylor Show merch over at inspireddisorder.com. And follow the show on Instagram at Ray Taylor Show. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace out!